Hi, I'm Barb, and I want to compare a few of the feet. Come on in here. I'll show you I have right here, this is my end foot, my open toe foot, and my candle wicking foot. Now, they all look a lot the same, right? But let me flip them over. First of all, before I flip them over, I want you to notice how wide they are. There is a difference in width. This one, the open toe foot, is not as wide as the other two. Let me turn them over, and you're going to see another big difference. Okay, the end foot is made for just regular uh, decorative stitches, just small ones, because you can see I've got a small little channel under there. That'll let some stitches with heavier threads go right underneath there and not, not move my foot around. But you don't want to do a straight stitch with this foot because it does wiggle. It allows the machine to bounce around as it needs to. This one, you can see I've got more of a channel under there. This one I'm going to use for open toe like applique. So I want to be able to see where I am and still let a little thread go underneath. But then look at this guy. This is the heavy duty one of the bunch. This one has a big wide area and it's a little deeper than the rest. So if you're doing those stitches that have a lot of thread on them and the candle wicking stitches really do have a lot of thread, then really this one is the best one to use. It won't bunch your fabric up. It will just so perfect and you will be so happy. So try them out.